All right, hello everybody. It's Andy Nolte, the Space Cowboy. I'm in Mexico City, and uh, I'm going to check out the Church of Scientology uh, in the historic in the historic center of Mexico City, which happens to be uh, where I'm staying. Like, uh, it's just a long walk, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll let you see the background here. Just, I just bought a T-shirt and stuff. Um, there's some markets. I thought I'll capture this so you can see what it looks like. I'll turn the camera around. Right, so here's like a little uh, square open area to look at with an old church in the background. This is the old part of Mexico City. Um, so it's got like a Spanish European theme to it. It looks pretty nice. Uh, anyway, it'll be interesting to see what the Church of Scientology is like on a Saturday afternoon. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Church of Scientology, Mexico City. Uh, it looks like an ideal org. It's in a kind of cool spot if you look around. It's um, right next to a train station in the cent fairly central part of Mexico City. And there's a little market thing there. They haven't ever had these little markets. They've got a lot of entrepreneurs, little small businesses going on. You, you could never lock down these people. If you tried to tell these people to lock down, these people would just be like, no, we're going to starve. We're not going to lock down. But they, they're cool with wearing masks and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but anyway, there's a church of I'll go in. So I'll go and I'll speak to him and just say I'm holiday. Hello. I'm just on holiday and I'm making a video on my holiday of places I visit. I'm just making a video of the places that I visit uh, on the holiday. But here is not allowed to take video. Here. Not, not, not in allowed. here. Not in here, please. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll turn it off. Okay, so I'm in the I'm right now. Do you sometimes experience thoughts out? Negative thoughts? Do you reasonable fears, upsets, or irrational behaviors? Alright, that was it. That was me at the thingo. Um, so I just, um... <clears throat> okay, so they did the, the usual thing that they um, usually do, which is, um... Which is, put, you get you to watch the, um... The, one of those those videos and so they showed me the video of Hubbard's life and then and how we how we created Scientology and then um, they showed a video of um, Dianetics uh, you know the standard thing that they, that they do um, and uh, it was interesting because uh, you know it was pretty quiet as usual like most of the ideologues you visit like just yeah. skeleton staff there was you could see strict oh I don't know if you saw it, see it but I saw it there was strict COVID things so they had to um they had to uh, wear gloves, I think. They, uh, I think they had, a, I'm sure they had a mask on and it uh, looked like maybe they did a QR check-in. They also did a temperature check. So um, I guess they don't really believe in PDSness because we all know what really causes the illness are. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of joking, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, so they had the strict COVID rules to get in. They, I did see some people enter, uh, but obviously it wasn't busy like you would expect from these thingos. Um, I think that the making people watch those videos, uh, I don't know. If, I mean, look, Scientology was booming in the 70s. Did they have a TV screen that they made people walk in and just sit in front of a TV screen? I don't know. Um, I thought it was also interesting that you get in there and you see Spanish people because Mexico City is majority are these like uh, dark Asians that are some sort of native mixed with, um, I think it's some sort of native mixed with some sort of, Chinese man or something like that. There's some these dark Asians or whatever, and they're shorter and they I think they're a bit pudgier. That's what a native Indian, like Native American, looks like. Um, but of course, you get into the, the Scientology Center, and it didn't surprise me. You start seeing Spanish-looking people, more people who look more European, and uh, there's a reason for that. And, and I'm not going to say why, because you should know that yourself. If you've got a, a brain in your head and you've got a bit of common sense, you'd understand why. Um, but there's differences between the races, and of course, it doesn't surprise me at all that you get some Spanish people um, working at the Church of Scientology Centre because it requires a certain amount of competency and and that sort of stuff. Um, so there, that's the building. I checked it out. Uh, look, there, there was much to see. They they did the same thing that they do um, all the time, which is um, sorry, yeah, the same thing that they always do, where they just they don't let you really get into the, the thingo and and see much, um, 
except in Taiwan, I managed to somehow trick them to show me heaps, but I, I don't think I made a video about that or something stuffed up. I don't know. And I didn't get, you didn't get to see all this footage, but I snuck right into the Taiwanese one and went through all through the levels. They even let me be by myself and had a coffee, and I got to see heaps. But anyway, they were they were quite strict, and you could see as I walked in, they I had a camera on me, and uh, they didn't like that. Um, and I just said, I'm, you know, you heard I'm making a home video or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it's yeah, the typical ideologue. Um, so different, cool location though. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I hope you like my video. See you later. Here's just the side entrance to the um, to the Scientology Center, and um, it's funny because you got some got some homeless people there just lying on the steps. So I <laughs> should put that in because it's uh, I don't know, it's a little bit uh, interesting. Can't they be cured? Can't they be cured? Anyway, so. Yeah.